Let me give you this story. So when, when the person has you in a, in a top side control, okay, it, and they're kind of moving where they're essentially kind of riding you like a surfboard, you have to be moving as well. Because if they're moving, you're not moving, it's no good for you. Same thing for the person on the top. If you're trying to like lock them down and control them, the person on the bottom is moving, if they're moving right, eventually they'll, they'll get ahead. But there's a couple things that go on here that you guys have to also on the bottom kind of look for. Mark, come here. And to see where the hands are. So let's say he's got his hand under my head, okay? What I want to do is I want to put pressure on that hand, okay? I don't want him to neither control my head, nor do I want him to just freely pull that left arm out and then bring it on the other side. And then he'll switch base and all, all that kind of stuff. I don't want him to freely do that. So I need to tuck my chin, frame here, and I need to roll up on his hand like this. You feel pressure on your hand, okay? Oftentimes, okay? Can you pull it out? He'll really, they really want to pull it out because your head begins to tweak that wrist. It becomes very uncomfortable. Mr. Carlos does this all the time. Brad does this all the time. So here, I don't want him to be hugging my head and my head's off the mat here, okay? As it is, my hands are already screwed up in this situation here. Look, I'm, I'm here, okay? From here, my hip is connected to his hip but I'm spreading him out and stretching out his arm, okay? From here, I can go underneath, and then I can begin to tweak his arm, move my hip away, and do the framing and get my knee in a recover up, open guard, close guard, full guard, whatever it may be, okay? So one more time. He's framing, he's got a cross face. My chin, my chin tucked, and I just walk back on my shoulders, and I find that spot where, and I shrug right here, so that, as you see, his wrist is stuck. The more I push his head this way, yes. So, and then right here, I know that there's a hole, right here. As I turn away, and then I'm gonna bring it up, right in the elbow pit right here, I'm gonna start turning in, yeah, and he's got to walk his hips in, in, because his arm's getting tweaked, okay, on the left side. From here, I can get my left hand already on the inside of his elbow, and the whole time, I'm moving back and back and back, okay? So, one more side, okay? Here, chin tucks, feet, toes, and then you frame, and you kind of roll back right here, okay? From here, typically, what happens is that as they pull it out, and you see it's hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder movement that begins to enable me to create the space. And if he slowly consumes the space, okay, he's slowly up. So we're here, okay? I want to back right there, okay? Frame, from here, look. Hip, shoulder, he, he tries to come in, hip, shoulder, and I have my left hand on the inside of his left elbow. Because he can't reach around and grab me. He can't grab my head. And I can move away from him. Move up with an open guard, half guard, whether from here, lasso, whatever it may be, I'm not in a side control anymore. Okay? So what I want you guys to do is this. You're gonna frame and spread, tuck your chin, walk up on your shoulder and shoulder walk back. And you'll, and you'll be able to trap their wrist and hand. The more you push the head this way, the more you'll want to pull it out. And then you, you even trap it with the left hand. From here, hip, shoulder, but he tries to advance. Hip, shoulder. And now you're in an open guard. Make sense? Okay. So your left hand can go on the inside okay, of their elbow pit. And one more time. You can just wait for them to pull that wrist out. because. You frame here, but here, hips up, and I'm gonna walk it back, 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 back. Hip, shoulder, free compose. Okay? So they'll pull it out because it's very, very uncomfortable. 
and you're shrugging, you trap their wrist right here, and you know you're bending it because you're pushing their head out towards your leg, get towards your left knee, and their hand is stuck right here. They want to pull it out, and you feel that tension, and the second they pull it out, your left hand just goes to the inside of their elbow pit. Okay. Here, let's go this way. I want to frame, spread, shrug. I'm going to lift my hips up, up, up. And right here, I feel his wrist right here. The more I, and I know, I know I'm on his palm. And what, yeah. Yeah, you know, two hands, one hand. That's the cross face hand right there. You control that arm. They're not getting you into good side control. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Try it slowly and give your partner's feedback so that you can get that left C clamp whoop, right on the inner uh, huh? elbow. I was gonna get nowhere on 